Okay, in this, um, I'm going to use Troy to show um, a rear bear hug. So I'm using the bandana in a circular pattern um, simply to show it, it's kind of, you know, keep your hands together as much as you can. Um, you'll see a place where I'm going to end up separating them, but you'll understand why when we get to that point. So I'm standing here minding my own business and I'm caught off guard and somebody comes up behind me, they grab a hold of me. Now he might even try to pick me up or lean me backwards, which I'm too heavy, he doesn't need to do that. So basically, normally a bigger person grabs a smaller person, that's what happens. So when they grab a hold, if they lift you off your feet, you can lift your feet up and throw them down and set yourself down. I'm not gonna get out trying to raise my arms up this way because all he's gotta do is squeeze and my arms aren't gonna come up. What I wanna do is I just take my elbows and if you watch, I just push my elbows into my center and raise my arms up. My hands are relaxed. I'm just pushing my elbows in and I'm raising. Look at all the motion and the movement I now have. So I can pick whatever side I want to attack. So if I'm gonna to go to a throw, I can grab to this side and then I can actually drop down and I can throw him. I can kneel to the floor and throw him over me, okay? Or if, if I don't want to end up on the ground at all, all I got to do is jump my feet across and throw him around, okay? So there's some options there as to how I do that. The other thing I can do is if he grabs a hold of me and he has me in that same hold, and again, we don't want our hands coming out this way because that's not going to get us out. We don't want to just reach up and do this because that's not going to get us out. All we're looking to do is elbows together, raise them with your hands down like you're pointing your wrist up in the air. It's that simple. I've already broken what he has. Now I can reach. I'm going to grab the outside of his hand. And as I grab the outside of his hand and I duck it under from here, if you look, I have him in a lock that's not comfortable for him, okay? So once I have him in this lock, I can bring him around and I can twist his wrist the other way, putting him in a lock here and bring him back this way. Or I can bring his arm up into this position and lock him, okay? But there's a whole lot of different things that I can do from this position because I can switch hands and I can rotate him down into this position and throw him. But once I, once I get a hold of this part of his hand from when we were here, once I get a hold of it, I want to rotate it towards... His hand doesn't bend this way for very long. So if you look at his hand, if you just look at Troy's hand, if he turns his hand this way and I rotate it this way, it would be a completely different technique. I could throw him and he'd go out around that way. If I grab his hand here, I want to get out of in front of him because I don't know, he might grab a, a knife or something with his hand. So that's why I'm going to rotate around this way, putting him in a lock. This arm might come back. If he goes to bring that arm back, I can bring him back around this way and now he's completely off balance. But I need to know where my opponent's going. And notice my hands have stayed together the whole time. I don't really have to get very far away from my hands. All right. So the idea behind someone coming up and grabbing you in a bear hug, even though they're larger than you, use your body to get out. And so you're drawing your elbows in together and you're simply raising your arms up, your, el your, your wrist up in a fashion like this. Raise it up. That's going to give you the body space you need. Now you're going to have the hand space and the arm space that you need to either go into a throw, you know, a flip, you know, whatever it is you're trying to do the person or into whatever wrist lock you want to put them into and move yourself back around the person. So you all know if there's a third person, you know, standing in front of you and he came up and grabbed you so his buddy could punch you. So your hands are going to come up here so that you're doing what? You're putting your hands up in the other guy's face, but you're getting out of this as you decide to attack this guy and throw him into his buddy or step away from him and lock him up, okay? So when you're practicing your at home for the social distancing, put it in a circle. It's the easiest way to do it. Think about somebody grabbing a hold of you and then draw your arms, your elbows together 
So even if your elbows have to come way out here to get your elbows to come together, that's fine. Bring them out in front of you and then raise, raise them up. It's going to cause their arms to slip up here to where they no longer have you, all right? Um, and so when we get into the rear choke, because that's the next position that the person might move to, then I'll show you how to get out of the rear choke if that happens. But if you, if you stay relaxed and you move smooth and you learn how to, to make this a, a, a smooth movement, you'll do it fast enough, they won't have time to adjust from one, one grab into the next grab um, because you're going to catch them off guard, especially if you go and you grab a hold of that wrist and you twist it. You know, that's going to take away anything they want to do with a choke or anything like that. Okay, um, so that's defense against um, the rear bear hug.